。はい。あん。床に、床には釣り切れた絨毯が一枚。絨毯が一枚。We say 絨毯 has the kanji for.、Mm, we don't really know、uh, the jukan kanji.、Um, you, you know shikimono, which has the same meaning. Yuka, yuka. This is the kanji for jutan. Yukani wa surikireta. What is it on the floor?、Hmm? Something is. There's、okay. one thing. A jutan is a carpet. Hi, carpets. So there's one carpet on the floor described as being sirikireta. Sirikireta is ragged in a way. Yep, it is ragged, worn it, out. It rips. Worn out, like a bo boro boro. So so boro boro. Kabe ni abura e ga ichi mai tatte kakete atta. One. Oil painting is standard. It stood against the wall. Perfect. Takasa wa ore no se take no hanbun kurai de gakubuchi wa. Iro aseta kin meki. The height is roughly half of my height. Perfect. And the framing is. Of a faded golden、um, gold plating. Perfect. Sagande Nagamete Mita. So we know that this abure e was tatekakete against the kabe. So if you wanted to nagameru at the, what does nagameru mean? Nagameru. That's a hard verb for you. Nagameru. It's one of the three ways of looking, right? It、Mommy? is a way to look at something, correct? Do you think he's going to be. Staring, glaring, or gazing at the abure. Gaze. So, Naga. So. so, if you're trying to gaze at the abure that is tatekakete to the, the kabe, and it's hanbun gurai of his height, what do you think he has to do in order to gaze at it? Wakata. He had to squat down. So, so. De. By squatting, he can gaze. He nagamete mita. Here he is attempted to gaze、right. and is successful as opposed to yo. Uh, yeah. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. And they probably use the mita here rather than just say nagamete ita, is probably because of the fact that, um, This oil painting is not in good condition. So it's probably kind of hard to see what he's looking at at the picture. 
Um, but specifically means he tries to gaze at it, tries to be like, what's this picture look like? But he does succeed in gazing, doing the action of gazing. But we're using Mita probably rather than Ita, just because there's a little bit of iffiness of whether or not he gets any data from gazing at it, would be my guess. Since it's, you know, Susudarake. Susudarake nano wa Danro no ue ni kakata. I'm sorry. Kakate ita seka. Their soot hanging on the object. What does darake mean? Lots of. Hi, hi, hi. There are lots of. Then we say There's no. What is this no referring to? Referring to the aburae. So, so it's referring to the aburae, not the susu. Hi. Because you started giving kakata of... to susu rather than aburae. Is my hint why I uh, did that. There's lots of soot. On it, right. It referring to is no, right. Tanro no ue ni kakate itaseka. Is it because it was hanging on top of the fireplace? Perfect. He yo men. Yo men no kumo no su to hokori o shikoshi te de haratte mita. He tries to wipe. A little bit right. of dust. Not of dust, but he wipes a little bit with his hand the dust right. that is on the dust and the web that is on the surface. Perfect. And here the Mita is here because even though he succeeded in wiping these objects, he didn't use like um, a rag or something, right? So there's probably some leftovers still on the picture, right? He didn't like do like a really good job. So I guess you could say like that's what the Mita is here. Just while like, is, is it shows that we pro so it meant we succeeded in the action. We didn't necessarily do a good job <laughs> of the action for. Uh, some kind of reason. So I tried to wipe it away. No one, no one interrupted the action, but pro the the picture probably still needs a deep cleaning. <laughs> Hi. Nebari koko wa nani? Nebari, what is this? Eda picture. Nebari wa kochi o. Mimo shinaide ita. Nebori did not look or did not even look this way. Perfect. He did not even look this way. As he answered when he ita. Right. With what did he answer with? What did he say? He say Eda. Hi, hi, hi. Say it's a picture. Perfect. And now we're going to go over here. Um, oh, the wrong one. Um, do you know what our view is? A view? 
。やっぱ、理由。理由。はい。It's、はい、a dragon. はい。It's not 理由。That's something totally different. Can you say it again for me? 理由 Yeah. 理由。This is a small you. 理由。理由。理由。理由。Yeah. Dragon. Perfect. So this is the kanji for kanji <laughs> for dragon. Um, can you read this word for me? Kyo ryu. Perfect. Kyo ryu is a dinosaur. You don't need to know this word, but I just had a random word to practice for the kanji for ryu, which is dinosaur. I mean, dragon. So we got dragon, dinosaur. I just think it's funny that the words are related in Japanese. Is that call, call the same call as being? Is that call the same call as being horrifying? Yes. Kyofu no kyo. Horrifying dragon、Hi. is a dinosaur. Exactly. What's more real than a, what's more scary than a real dragon? Dinosaurs.、Um, do you know what、um, nozoku means? Nozoku. Nozo. Nozo is to peek into. Yeah. Not peek into. Peek. To peek. To peek at. To peek into all those things. Peek into tends to get komu added to it. So if you want to say peek into, you have to use nozoku. How about niramu? Niramu. Is it also to stare? It's is a it the kind same of staring, as... but not the same as anything else. Niramu is its own kind of stare. My hint is that it's negative. He glares at it. So, so he glares. Perhaps this kanji for oni, for demon, which isn't the same as a niramu, but maybe the fact that demon and niramu both kind of have a foot like looking kanji in it might help link between the negative、Hi. between these two actions. And lastly, what does nagameru mean? Nagameru is to. Gaze perfect to gaze, nice, nice. Okay, so now you get to go read the lines from the book. So, that could I wa wakarite non no ye. No, I'm sorry, non no e Ryuda. Could I wa. Wakaru, eh? I already know, I know that much. That he complaining a little bit. What kind of picture? Dragon. It's dragon. It is dragon. You that Ramani Mani, can you hear me? Sorry, I was muted for a second. Sorry about that. Um, so I um, so D, so D, you. Has like a aggressive E sound versus you. You're just getting the R and adding U to it. So, you, you versus you. Yeah. Because sometimes you're making the, the E pop up, but there's no E in here. Just, just so you know. You're just R and then U. You. It's definitely hard to say. You. 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 Hi. It's, it's, you know, it's, Is these、uh, clusters of consonants remind、mm. me of Russian? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Two, three consonants smacked together. So hard.、Um, you know what dobutsu is? Dobutsu.、Uh, um, the thing that moves? It is the thing that moves. These are animals. Dobutsu. So, all animals、Hi. are dobutsu. 
It ended with Butsu. What did it start with? Do, as in movement. Hi, hi, hi. How do you read this kanji? Zentai. Perfect. And what does that mean? No, you're first right. Zentai. Um, when there's a mm, da is a little bit hard to say. So zen type. Hi, so ta. Zen tai. What does it mean? Uh it means the entire the entirety of the of the object. Hi, hi, hi. This word right here started with do. What did it end with? Butsu. Perfect. Butsu and... refer to an animal. Yeah, do no. butsu animal. Butsu is a thing. It is a thing. A thing is a Hi. Hi. And this mono right here with this kanji is a person. Hi. Um, so I got two Butsu. below kanjis. Which one is which? Here is on the left. Uh, Ikari de on the left is oriru. Oriru. Migi de on the right is uh, agaru. And how do their meaning change? Are different? Hi. Hikari de wa oriru toyu imi to go down. I'm on you. 100% correct. Migi de Migi de wa Mm. Agaru. Agaru to you imi. It means to move back. Yep, perfect. Normally you say to you koto, or you could say to you no wa, with no or koto being like the filler word for things. Because the ideas of the definition is the main part of normally the sentence. Um, if you use koto, agaru. normally Oyu you'll have koto. the definition with koto after that. Like, agaru to you koto wa, uh, to go down to you koto <laughs> would probably if you, since you have it in English Hai. with like a phrase. So koto you is normally common if you use that. Though um, in this book, they don't use the koto koto. They do to you imida. Is how they decide to do it. Imida? Yeah, which is... Uh, it the meaning of blank is blah 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 blah. The which is the meaning of it. So they, they did that. Actually, they said no which oh, yeah. I, with the no adding as a pronoun for ini. So the meaning of blank is a blah 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 meaning. So they did this grammar point, which is um I think an easier grammar point. Do you know what? Do you ini? Hi. Hi, it's good practice. Yeah, it's very good practice. Start thinking in Japanese. So, so, so. Uh, how do you read this word? Um, kono kotoba no yomi wa yomi wa nan de shou ka? Hi. Um, this is doubutsu to you. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, now you get to go read the line from the book. はい。あ、上がって絵の全体を見た。リユテ動物。I step back and I see the entire picture dragon is that an animal perfect and for whatever reason you read this as agatte which i already know you know means agatte but that was like kind of 
read it too fast. Sagate. Agate is to go back, but sagate mm. is to a, retreat. A, agate a means to go up. So if this kanji was the ue kanji, then it's agate. And since it's the shita kanji, it's um, sagate, which means to go back. But agate just means to go up from agaru. I see. Sagate to to step back. Hi. Hi. Nebari wa hon o pojita. Nebari was holding or he held. Nebari held a book. Good guess. Tojiru actually has some kanji. To Jiru. This is the kanji for tojiru. I think it's so easier for you if you see it. Hi. He closes. Hi, hi, hi. Or he closed. He closed the book. Perfect. And he say, Kozo, honto ni nani mo shiran no dana? Truly, you don't know anything, isn't Perfect. it? Hi. With um, na is very similar to like right or isn't it? However, na is not really used as a like getting information from the person you're talking to. So ne and stuff like that is more like like oh you agree with me right? Yeah, it's like that kind of back and forth. Na is more of an ending of a statement. So you're not really supposed to respond with, with na with so this ne, hi and this ne. Like ne kind of go back and forth of agreements. But na is more like you're musing to yourself out loud. Like he he's talking to the boy here, but he's making like a statement. So he's like, so you really don't know anything, huh? So whenever I see it, I spell out the vocal side because it's a lot like the word huh at the end of the sentence. Um, Because it just kind of shows that like, the thought process going on so it's a ne to yourself rather than a ne to the person you're talking to even though it's used in conversations so i i personally would stay away from the isn't it meeting versus that but that that's like a personal opinion um you know what tori means like in um yoku ko zonji no tori yoku ko zonji no Tori. Gozonji. Hi, gozonji is like shitteru. So this could be yoku shitteru no shitteru doji. Probably doji in that case. The context is not the koto to omoimasu ga yoku gozonji no tori. So Tori as a word by default normally means road. This is the word for road or or to go through if you're talking about toru, to go through. However, um when it to, toru has a um kind of a compound word special meaning, well you'll modify toru with some other word like shitteru or something like that or kaiteru or something like that, kakutori. Um, to make some kind of special meaning, which means basically like there was only one path, so it's just as it says, basically. So here it says, as you well already know, is yoku gozonji no tori. As you well already know. So it basically means like what you know, that there's no weird um curves going on. What you know is true and a fact. So as you already know, um, and we're going to see that soon um, with this phrase. Can you read it for me? Sono tori. Perfect. So sono is that with that tori of um, not street tori, as shown how there's no kanji here, but instead is the tori for the metaphor tori, saying it's just as you just said is probably what sono tori would mean. That's when you normally use it. Someone says like, oh, so you are dobutsu. And he's like, sono tori da. 
which yeah. is what you said is exactly right um is what it means so there's no like eh, that's a little bit wrong you can't use toady then toady has to be like 100 percent. you're on the right track so that's what we say next you're on the right track <laughs> that's kind of similar of toady with meeting road um yeah it's just going straight um all right so let's go read what the main character thought Hi, hi. So no Tori des yo. Is is say yes, yes. Just like you said. So no Tori des. What kind of tone does this sentence have? Yo. There's two markers for tone. Hi, hi, and the yo. Both are marking the tone of the sentence. I, he's he's he say I know already. Yes, he as is, you said. Oh. Kind kind of literally it says hi hi sono tori desu yo. He it's a little bit sarcastic here. Um, but here he's literally saying yeah yeah you're exactly right. I know nothing. Honto, <laughs> right? Because the last line was man, you really know nothing, kid. Honto ni nani mo shiran no da na. So you see the main character doesn't like respond out loud to him. He thinks this, yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. I know nothing. This this feels very like like an impudent thought. Um, theoretically, the same with the des, even though des is more um polite, polite form, polite Japanese can be a little bit sarcastic sometimes, just because he doesn't normally use des. The main character doesn't. Right. Uh, so it's like, yep, it's exactly as you say. So it sounds it sounds sarcastic. Um, can you read this bold um bolded phrase for me? Hi, Gary no. I'm sorry, bolded phrase. Uh, hibana o fukidashi. Fukidashi. The sparks. The right. spark. So, Fuki that's it. Explode. It is, yeah. It's kind of like the word to explode. Specifically, it's like to emerge out, to flow out, any of those kind of words. So, when things explode, they have to Fuki das it normally. Because they're not imploding, they're exploding, right? So anything that explodes is going to fukidasu in some kind of way. But fukidasu is that outward flowing action. So something can fukidasu and not explode. But here it is from the explosion, right? The light exploded and a lot of sparks flowed out of the explosion. They fukidasu. So fuki is basically to emit, to flow out. And we're going to be seeing it as just fuku without the dasu. Um, so fuku, of course, is a u verb. How do you read this kanji? Fuku. Perfect. What is fuku. the potential form of fuku? Fukareru. That's a good guess. Um, right, you did do potential form. Perfect. Uh, what is um? No, you did. You did passive form. I was right. <laughs> I got the names mixed up. So this is passive. What is potential? Good. Potential is adding the word can to it. Potential. Kaseru is causative form. So put that down here, which means to make something um, fuku. We want potential form, can. Can is um, edu. Here's my hint. Fukeru. Yep, get it. Yep. Um, so, for example, um, nomu means to drink. Nomeru means you can drink. 
right? So potential form is the potential for something to happen. Uh, get it to be get able it. and stick out fire. Can you read the sentence for me? Ryu to you no wa he o ukeru dobutsu da. A dragon is an animal that can breathe fire. Perfect. Literally, it says the thing called a dragon is an animal that breathes fire. That which is called dragon. Koryu to you no wa. With no, of course, replacing um, dobutsu. So this right here is our kado and kaku kanji with um, kaku meaning angle. What does kado mean? Corner. Perfect. So what was that last meaning? Do you remember what tuno means? We got corner, angle, and? It refer. A what? To a whole. Hi. An, uh, an object, a horn. A horn, yep. Tuno means horn. Hi. Can you read this sentence for me? Tsuno ga aru. Ryu wa oki. Hi. The dragon which has a horn is large. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? The bottom part is going to be hard, but 50-50 guess. I guess one and third. There's three readings of that kanji. Cool. Kyodai. Yep, kyodai. So kyodai was a short kyo. Kyodai, not kyodai. You didn't read kyodai, but I just want to point that out because kyodai with the long O is siblings. But that's just a common word for everybody to know. It's brothers. Um, but kyodai means strong, mighty, powerful. Kyodai. And of course, this is a na adjective. What did it start with? Kyo. Perfect. Um, do you have to know what tsubasas are? Especially if you watch the tsubasa anime. Tsubasa are wings. Yes, wings. Perfect. Of course, this is the kanji for tsubasa, which is very actually useful as it has two hane. Because wings, of course, means you need to have wings in order to have wings. Hane, 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 tsubasa. Money, I, right. I, I really like this one publisher they call mm -hmm. Kadogawa Tsubasa Bunko. Uh, Bunko. Mm -hmm. Bunko. They publish these no, books Bunko. with these green hi, covers, hi, hi. and all their books are Purigana. Purigana, yep. Those are fun. I think there's a total of two publishers that do that. Well, they'll have like, um, they'll like republish other books, but with Furigana doing that thing. So Tsubasa is one of them. And there's one other company, but I think Tsubasa is the most famous one, probably because they get like the novelizations of like your name and stuff, would be my guess right yes yeah guys yes Definitely. it's really good because mm -hmm. without the furigana you can't use the dictionary very effectively but with it i can search up dictionary just by typing out the sounds um if you're on your phone normally you you have a keyboard that lets you draw kanji and it normally is like pretty easy even without it um, the main benefit is that normally you know more words by reading than you do know words by looking at kanji. You know, there's like a certain percentage normally. It depends on how you learn. But if you watch like a lot, of, <laughs> like like for me, um, I definitely know more words than I know kanji for them. Especially like two years uh... ago, I was bored at kanji. I knew like five. Um so that I see. is one of those benefits is that I can get you used to it. Um, but otherwise, it's about the I... same level of easiness normally to Google them if you're using a phone. If you're on a computer, definitely the Fujikane ones are much easier. But on the phone, you can just draw it normally. 
got to get one of those drawing keyboards because it takes like two seconds. It's probably faster to draw it than to type out long words. <laughs> uh, anyway, how do you uh, do the I... Magnificent word? Humingus. Chodai. Chodai. Kyo. Right. So let's go it's read that. this word. Tsunoga aru ryu ni ryu ni kyodai na tsubasa ga aru. Perfect. Good job knowing the reading for tsubasa. The, hi. The the uh, on the on the horn dragon a large Kodai is, is like awesome, right, Moni? Like, uh, it, like it's huge. Tremendous. I said magnificent, huge. but I, I didn't mean that. It's it just, it's humongous, ginormous was the word I should have used. Ginormous. <laughs> enormous. Hi. Enormous wings. Um, so the Kyo they're, here shows up in Kyojin from Attack on Titan. The Titans is Kyojin, humans that are humongous. So the Kyo is Hi. probably huge, and Dai means super huge. I see. Enormous, enormous wings. There are enormous wings on the horn dragon. Right. So I just thought I'd point out for funness. Um, if you're ever curious about how the Adu works, when you see like the blank ga Adu blank, it's normally me that's been dropped in that in those relative clauses. So the that I just thought. Well, the point is out. They don't actually, I think, use the knee in the next sentence. Maybe they do. Um, but that's something I feel like when you first learn the blank ga adu, meaning to have, you don't normally know what particle has been gone. So you only ever see it as relative clauses. But I thought, hey, look, it takes me. <laughs> okay. That's the possessor in that case. Um, can you read this word for me? Aru. Hi. Tokage. Hi. So tokage is a kind of animal, kind of dobutsu. Any guesses what it is? It's a salamander. It's any kind of lizard. It doesn't have to be Pacific. It's I have no idea what species of lizard I grabbed. <laughs> um, it's just a lizard. Um, can you read this example sentence for me? Ryu to. I'm sorry with the review, but I, I know it's like I always make you cringe. <laughs> but you can't correct it too much. Eventually you'll get used to it. <laughs> you you to you no wa ino fukeru tokage da Dragon is called a lizard breathing hmm. fire. So our sentence here is Noah Tokagage. Tokage. What does Noah no mean? Called. Yeah, the thing. The thing that is called dragon is a lizard that can do what again? Breathe fire. So, so, so. Ukeru. Hi. So out of curiosity, what was this pronoun originally? Why did, like, we know it's translated as, like, it or the one, but what was, is this pronoun, if it, what what was this replacing other than, like, another pronoun, like, it? I think it was dobutsu. Good guess, but it's actually the, the tokage. Um, it could be dobutsu, I guess, tokage. depending on the sentence, but normally... The, the way how it works is that it's it's either something mentioned in the previous sentence or it's the last noun of the sentence. So it, it could be like dobutsu if you had another sentence to compare with. Um, but normally there's like some kind of matching going on like that. It's a very common way to do things. Um, do you know what this towa means? It's different than the last towa we saw, I think. I don't remember it was the last Toa we saw. It might be the same. I mean, there's two Toas in this book. Here's one of them. Yeah. 
はい。税金取りの役人とは違って、支払えない相手を棒で殴ったりするのが。Um, and so what they're comparing with the y a k u n i n is、um, the t e s h i t a of the h i g u r e no kimi. のののの Sorry, m o m m y This is your most point. This is me. I don't remember.、Hi. So it's basically saying, like, um it's like kind of like a way to define things normally. So it's saying, like, so. Um, minions, when you're taking those as our qualifying, they are different than the other things. So, the defining、um, the minions through its differences here, because we're using chigatte, which is that the differences is that they do not、um, beat people with sticks. So, toa basically is just like、uh, this, it's like toyu no wa, it's just a way to define things. So, but it just、oh. doesn't have to be a super direct translation. So, governments, well, a, a government、um, employee is this contextually what's been dropped is the same as the min. Well, it's not been dropped, it's right there.、Um, is, so, like, government employees, they are the same thing as the minions employees, except they do not hit people with weapons when they cannot pay. That's how they're、um, using it here. Um, but yeah, toa is basically just a way to define something. So, our next word is a tosaka. Tosaka in English is the word crest, which I feel like most people don't know because I didn't know that word and I think I'm most people.、Um, but a, but a, a crest or a tosaka is this weird extra thing that grows on, on animals, especially chickens, that are like basically just there for, they're just like, it's like a weird. Flab thing that's on there. It's not there for like food or anything. It's just kind of extra flab. And this is what like a random tosaka on a lizard. This, of course, has like more use than just getting a boyfriend. This one's like a threatening use, but it's just, it's not like, um like a, like it's not the meat on your body. It's not your, I guess a little bit like your earlobes, maybe. But it's just kind of like that weird thing that kind of grows on something. So that is a tosaka. So, in English, it's called a crest, but that's what they're referring to.、Um, Tosaka. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? Tosaka ga aru okage ni tsubasa ga nai inda. Tosaka ga aru toke ni. On the Um, lizard with crest, Subasaga Nai, Nda. There are no wings. Perfect. Okay, now you get this the Nda is Noda. It is Noda. Nda and Noda are the same um word. So、um, there's Noda. There is no wing, Noda. No,、so... what he's saying. Theoretically, this is way to basa ga nai, period. That would be grammatically correct. Noda adds some flavor here.、Um, one of the flavors could be there's an explanation of a previous sentence, or you're showing a little bit of like, did you know that lizard over there can't fly? Wow. That, that's one of the uses of noda to kind of show like a moment <laughs> in your brain. And your brain went, pew. Did you know? Um, is, so it'd make probably more sense. Like, maybe if the Tosaka looked like wings for some reason, and you're like,、oh, yeah, I can't fly, but it has those kick ass、um, crests on it. Who would have thunk it? Tosaka. So, yeah, the、Hi. I just wanted the there to the flows better, but it's still grammatically correct、uh, about it, it. I I think the way I understand it is from the from how you explain it is. It's almost as if it's an underlining of,、mm. of, the, of the thing that they say. So, subasa ga nai. And then, unda is an underlining of that ga nai. That sounds right. Right. I can't it, it, fly. In, in the spoken form. 
hide. It's like a non-aggressive underlining. Yeah, that's a good way of thinking about it, probably. Right. Sounds right to me. Okay, so let's see what how Nebody describes a you. You to wa. Dragon is like a thing. Uh, no, it's so you have the word yona. So it's saying the dragon, dragon is a thing is our sentence. That's the thing. very common Japanese thing. Well, you'll just say blank is blank. That's that's like the most common way to describe things in Japanese. You'll have a thing right there. So kyoryu wa mono da. A dragon is a thing. And then we add extra stuff here. Oops. A dragon is a thing that looks like a lizard. What kind of lizard? A great lizard. A, a great enormous big lizard. lizard. Right. Tosaka to Subasa to Tsunoga atte. It has crest and uh, crest, wings, and horn. It has, it has. So here, the particle ni is right. implicit. Yes. It was uh, insinuated from the implicit. previous sentence, which was ryutoa. Uh, so we know he's talking about kyoryu, right? So it'd be this sentence would be kyoryu niwa, because we're still the topic is still kyoryu if we did not have this first sentence. Um, but since we already know we're talking about kyoryu, that's been dropped and is insinuated in the sentence. Um, normally, as I told you earlier, you're not going to see niwa. I just was letting you, the ni. For with Aru for existing a part of somebody because normally that's going to be dropped um, either it's going to be like fully gone or it's going to be the head of the phrase that me that's the most common thing you'll see but I, I just wanted to point out what the embedded grammar was because <laughs> it's, it's, it's something that I think is interesting Money and another clarification is that he uses atte instead Hi. of ari the stem yes. form um, because he's he in a way is connecting this clause with the next clause right right instead of saying sunoga ari kama he the, said the, the, sunoga ate. to some extent this has to do with um talking um the stem form is actually very rare in speech um but it's very common in literature um so it's like so since he's talking out loud, they're more likely to use the te than adi. I think it might like almost never exist in, nor in talking out loud speech, but I, I don't know for sure. But I like I remember reading that once that um adi is more for text than for speech. I see. Hi, what But otherwise, that? normally so you do. Hi. Um, but it does have that comma, so mix it into an and. He no, he o fuku mo no ga o oi. Um, it's a thing. It's a mono ga. It's a thing. It's a thing. A fire, a fire breathing thing a lot yes there are many that can breathe fire so in english you probably just would use that um there are or whatever because the mono for thing is basically a kind of filler word it's probably related to pronoun known in some way um oh, God. um but yeah just a thing so many 
dinosaurs are a thing. They and but I mean, sorry, <laughs> dragons are a thing, and there are many of these dragons that can breathe fire, but not all of them can breathe right. fire. Only most of them can breathe fire. So that's why we have that aggressive ate here with the comma, helping to separate. So all dragons are supposed to have wings, horns, and crests, but many, but most of them also can breathe fire. Is uh, what's that sentence is saying? Hi. Wakata. Okay, kanji check. How to read this word? Dobutsu. Perfect. Um, and that's really the only one that asked. Oops. Um, do you remember how to read this word? The bolded word? Oops. Ikite. Yep, ikite. What does it mean? Iki is to iki is ikiru. Ikiru. Hi. Living. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Iki mono. Perfect. Ikimono and dobutsu are basically the same word. Um, I mean, like, ikimono, I think, is a bigger word, right? Probably includes insects and stuff. Versus dobutsu probably doesn't include insects. Um, but ikimono, what do you think that means? Living things. Exactly, living things. Yep. And what did that tori mean from sono tori we saw earlier today? Tori is asked. As you said, or as it hi, hi, was. Hi. As whatever was me oh, no. previously mentioned. It's exactly what was previously stated. What, whatever goes in front of it. Which in this case was sono. Um, we're going to see it later with a different word. Um, before that, can you read this word for me? Setsume. Perfect. What did setsume mean? To explain. Perfect. Or explanation. An, an explanation. Yep. So explanation. here we have that tori we just saw, but with the course rendaku. Um, can you read it for me? Setsume dori. Okay, so what does that mean? Ask was explained or ask the explanation said. Yep. Dot dot dot. Yep. Just like the explanation says. Perfect. Um, so this creepy guy you can barely see right here. Um, as you can see, you can barely see him. He's kind of emerging out of the darkness. Um, what Hi. do you think this word right here means? To float up. Hi. Uh, how do you read it? Be agaru. Agaru up. You're right. Ukabi agaru. So you told me this means. Yep. Um, you told me this means to float up. Is this is this normally used to describe something literally floating up? Was it being used to describe that in the sentence? No, here it's used as an an analogies. So so. It's emerge into the field of vision. Yeah, it's kind of like this creepy man right here. Or, you can vaguely see it kind of sticks out in the darkness. You can see him now. Right. Um, perfect. So here is it's, a line from the book. Emerge. It so, emerges so. in my way. Nebari wa nebari no hanashi o kiku. Uchi ni. While nobody, I'm sorry, while I was listening to nobody conversation, to su, to su mami re no e no naka ni. Nobody no tetsume dori no. It didn't fit in one ga... sentence. Ukabi Perfect. Yeah. Just so you know, that no connects right there. Said... Ikimono just didn't fit. And with that, um, let's uh, 
read it. So, oh wait, no. What is the difference between hanashi and kaiwa? Um, hanashi is like a monologue, isn't it? He's speaking as he's speaking in general. Yes. Kaiwa is as he was someone else, yeah. a third person. Yeah. So in this context, one. exactly. Perfect. Yep. So specifically just what Nevity was saying is probably how I translate this rather than listening to Nevity's conversation. Because a hanashi could be a conversation, so, but you probably would use some, but by context, we know Nevity, we're, it's one, we listen to one person's monologue. <laughs> hi. Here we had Uchini instead of Nagara. Hi. Um, to indicate that while the action was going on, but here is Uchini. It's also during the during the act of Hi. listening. I'm guessing this ujini meaning the like a point in time, right, Mani? It's not like the entire time. Mm. One it's while I was listening. Kind of, yeah. That's a way of thinking about it. Kind of like a point of time. At some point while I was listening. Um at yeah, some point that's a good way of thinking about it. Instead of Nagara, as in like, while he was doing something, I'm also doing something else. Like while he's talking, I'm doing, I'm eating or something, right? right. That that would be the meaning of Nagara. Right. There's two action going on simultaneously, he doing and I'm doing. Whereas Uchini is while he was doing something, something else happened. Right. And that something else is um, a a um ikimono it's emerge it's appear it's ukabi agate kita right. it, it came hi so contextually and, we can assume um, it's it's popping up in his head the it's coming to him in his brain it's floating ah, up it's come to his consciousness hi but that is something you'd have to Merge guess by context not um grammar because it doesn't literally say in my at the mano nakani or something like that. Um, but it's not, nobody's not casting magic right here. Otherwise, um, Khan would be very surprised. That's literally what I, <laughs> what I thought this sentence said before you explained it to me. I thought that an, like a dog came into the room. <laughs> I literally thought that's what it said. Like an animal came into the like, room oh, while he was there's a dinosaur. having a conversation. Like, there's a dragon. <laughs> But it's a uh, nebri no setsume tori no. So he's saying, as nebri explanation, an animal or a living thing emerges, as he said, as according to his explanations. Uh, right. Tsumami re no e no nakami. Oh, it emerges not in his mind, but on the picture. But it's basically in his mind because the picture was covered in um, soot. So he's so it's like when you get like one of those like <laughs> pictures that you can't tell what you're looking at, and then someone tells you what it is, and you're like, oh, now I can see it. Yeah, I see the horse now. You know, it's one of those like Hi. kind of pictures. So it's before he was like, what is this soot covered thing? And he's like, okay, okay, there's oh, I can see the tosaka now. Oh. That's what I'm looking at. So he's able basically to identify things. So literally it's up here. It is emerging onto the canvas, but um the it's it's more his brain doing it than <laughs> anything else, you know? Nobody didn't <laughs> cast magic and clear off all the soot or anything. But yeah, perfect. Um and I think though I have to Google this, the reason why we use Uchi rather than Nagara is probably because we have two different subjects here. The first subject is I am listening, and the second subject is um an animal appears on the painting. Um there's like the this is of course appearing to me, but the subject specifically ikimono ga ukabi agaru, right? But that's you are. But Tony, there's also there's also Aida ni. Aida would mean um it's would be very different. During the time. Like during the 
time that never is Hanashi. Yeah, Hanashi but like I you, you gotta finish. Aida you have to finish the item if you're using Ida. <laughs> the action should be ended. Like Ida has like a ending of an action. So if you said nobody no Hanashi o Kiku Ida ni, that I would feel really weird in the sentence. It'd be like it. It would be almost like it disappeared it's after finished. he saw it. <laughs> like it went bye bye. Oh, I can't see it no more. Kind of like it does mean during. It's like during while or not while. Like something happened. Like that's the point. That's more of the point. One point of something happens. Like you could say during that time the building exploded, but it wasn't exploding the whole time the thing was happening. Right. <laughs> um. Wait. Okay. But, uh, so Ida is definitely very aggressively with point. <laughs> they're they're definitely confusing. Um, but I'm pretty sure the reason why Uchi's here rather than Nagara is that Nagara should have same subject. The person that's doing the first thing in front of Nagara and the thing after Nagara is normally the same person. And Uchi, since Uchi is a noun, it gets to have like you know easily another sentence right here, right? Versus Nagara, which is more of a grammar thing, um, because it takes you know like stem form. You know, it's not just noun described by relative clause so it's basically during the time in which nobody was talking and i was listening to nobody talking animals appeared so it just makes it more natural for having two subjects um i'm per i'm fairly certain of that uh, i'm not sure how i would google that to make sure but could definitely keep an eye out as we read it to see if all the nagadas have the same subjects with them um so Hi. that 